All right, everybody. Here we are again with another game, third game in our collection, The Gregory Horror Show. I'm Shay, person over in the None far. That. Yep, the par far person over there. Okay, you're making that <laughs> face, but tell me this: When have we ever done a successful intro? True. <laughs> and when have you ever sounded energetic in our intros? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone needs to give you coffee. You, I don't like coffee. <gasps> then how can you be with me? I'm nothing but coffee and tea. I'm a weird mix of coffee and tea. How are you with me? <laughs> I'm with you out of love, not out of taste. Well then. <laughs> with that, we start the game! <laughs> Don't worry about it, we're starting the game! Hey! <laughs> I love our really bad intros! should have been home by now. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. <laughs> Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well then, I'll get a room ready for you. <laughs> All right, so our names will be Shobamo, Shobamo, Shobamo. Would that work? I should remove yeah. the H. I'm, 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 I'm tempted to remove the H because it just, for me, it looks weird. Okay, we'll remove the H then. There. All right. Are we male or female? How about you just, just randomly press? I'll speak through. All right. Uh, gotta rub this pad real good. We mm. are female. Right this way, if you. We have a cunt. <laughs> Uh, I think I've lost my mind, sir. Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. Oh, this is a great start. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you have a cat picture. <laughs> well, we are a pussy. <laughs> Why is the Grim Weaver wearing a flag? I don't know. Isn't don't all Grim Reapers wear flags? What? You can't get back. No. <laughs> if they do, I want the freaking pride flag to be on the Grim Reaper. That gets me. <laughs> I'm going out as queer as possible. <laughs> Dreams. You're giving me a body. When you find them, come 
What happened to our actual body? The hell happened to our actual body, though? I found a body of this random kid. Here you go. <laughs> that was the most randomest scream that I heard in this game. Just me. Also, like a cat at the door. we pretty much have deer and headlight permanent look. Yeah, we do. Look, we've even got like the deer painted nose, like from yeah. back in whenever ago when everyone was all about deers and fawns. I heard I got the little nose and the freckles and the. I heard an ear splitting shriek from the room next door. First of all, this walking. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. That puts a new perspective on things. <laughs> sooner or later, me. sooner or later, Zach's gonna be like, I'm leaving. And just gets up and leaves. Do we have a wallet in our back pocket? I'm so hungry. Uh -huh. The meow, the like, it's like it's purring that it's hungry. By peeking through a keyhole, you can see into a room. Huh. <laughs> I don't know if you want to look at every keyhole. You can use a triangle button to peek into other places. You can knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Oh, what's fish bubble? Uh, triangle? Wait. Tri triangle? Oh, okay. That's a peep. You. You're the one who moved in next door yesterday, aren't you? Aren't oh, that, that aren't you kind of looped for a second there? I need to talk to you. Yes. Yes. You're a zombie cat. Go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. Bring it. Okay, so this game's got an issue where, like, it's looping the final word? I don't know if that's gonna be a permanent thing if it is, and I'll have to fix it! Maybe it's just the- that cat person's problem. Just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. Uh, meow at me! Straight left. This way? And then left. Freaking camera angles. That is a loud do no door noise. Waddle my way to your keys. Oh. <laughs> hey, Gregory. Key to the room next door? The cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. A most dangerous cat indeed. Was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. And one stormy night long ago, oh, a moon sewed everything shut. Eyes, mouth, ears. That's ear effed up. Also, nope, it's it's an issue that's happening in this game, and I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it too, so, um, I don't know what the issue is. Oh, what a horrible thing! Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone Ugh. who draws near. This school just broke. The manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Oh, is it 12.30 a.m. already? Well, then. I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. Uh, the daily routine of the Gregory House. Each resident at the hotel follows his or her own daily schedule. Sometimes knowing your opponent's schedule can be the key to achieving your objective. Get out of here, you damn rat! Get! Get! Okay, so I have a problem. What's wrong? Uh, the screen share has frozen. Uh-oh. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fix the issue for now, I guess. So <laughs> there's another issue mm -hmm. that rises. Well, besides the issue of the weird repeat of the last word, but it isn't that bad if I hit the X button quick enough, so maybe I can avoid it. Anyways, key items are tools that you can carry around wherever you go, such as padlock keys. They can help you escape when you're in a pinch. All right, well, wait, sh we shouldn't get caught by him because he'll see us with a key. Right, so we should be careful? I guess. Oh, he's coming back. Ah, what do we do? Go out, go out, go out. <laughs> uh, go up the stairs. Nope, we can't explore the f second floor yet. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 hey, Gregory! I don't know where that key went. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was scary in the simple <laughs> fact that I was like, "Oh, frick! Should avoid." All right. What's up, cat? I'm so hungry. Nico Is zombie. It Are you ready, Zay? I don't know. What are we ready for? What's happening? Essence in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. They're not going to give up their souls that easily. You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. I will practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. The first moment we have to, like, save, I definitely, um... <clears throat> want to relaunch the game, because I think picking the sexy hurts is what's causing this to happen. Because I remember I tested this game a while back and I didn't have this issue. Then go ahead and try peeking into my room. Ha <laughs> ha! Peeking into your room. I'm peeking to your heart. You see me. I'll tell you about my weak point. Yes. My weak point is food. You have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. I want to eat something sweet. Something that's hot to cold. Wait, I wish I had not some. So not so cold. I wish I had some dessert. So, like. Cake. Cake. Okay, now try and guess what I was talking about. Banana, ice cream, lemon, chocolate, a mobile phone, crisps. Chocolate? It would be chocolate. Dessert that's sweet and not too cold. Chocolate. But I like my chocolate cold. Here, I'll give you this. Okay, so apparently, if 
we give Nico Cat food at certain times, he'll give us random items. Really? Nice! Um, so just before we go into things, uh, with Neko Cat, uh, why am I saying cat twice? That's silly. With the zombie cat dude, um, he, if you supply him with his favorite foods, he'll give us random items and the best times to approach him is between 1am and 3am. 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. with assortments of foods. And every time you give him his favorite food, he'll give us a random item. So we'll have to find like chocolate to give to him? We'll have to find all sorts of different things because it will be run through the dialogue again. So we'd need to pick in, peek into his sink because he's always saying that he's hungry. So we'd need to peek into his room and see what food he wants. And then okay. we have to go and find it. Alright, well then. <laughs> Someone take notes about all the favorite foods, I guess. So, um. Yeah, I uh, really do that. Yeah. Just write down every time that we catch it, the favorite food, and then we'll have to figure out where the kitchen is to take that food. Mm. So, um. What should we ask? I guess we should ask I think... who are the guests, right? Or why are the guests carrying souls? These three are good. I mean, what's a lost soul? That's pretty obvious what a lost soul is. Yeah. Yeah. And top down, I guess. Just be the easiest way. To escape from their ins inescapable pain, the residents of Gregory House has chosen a life of endless wandering. They love to see other people suffer, so you'd better look out for yourself. They took the lost souls without permission from the original owner. And who was this original owner? There's no need for you to worry about that. It's a place to soothe your tired soul, yes. But you'll find out soon enough just what kind of place it is. It's literally hell. Planning to deliver those souls back to death. Uh, sleep? I see. You're going to meet him in your dreams? Hold it. Case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. Yeah, now let me sleep, good sir. So, the other thing that the thing I looked up suggested is that every time you get a item or a soul to save <laughs> like immediately i can imagine that this game will be like the situation where you want to save constantly but mm -hmm. do you save using the bed wait yeah. I read a book here interesting maybe death will tell us how we should save our game Hey, Death. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any souls? Uh... Brought me a lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. Okay, then, hand it over like we agreed. Like we. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Your card. Wait, we have a card? Keep finding them and bringing them back to me. Whenever you get one, go to sleep and I'll catch up with you in your dreams. Good luck there, buddy! Wait, how do I, I... save? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh, cool. So it tells us which ones we already got the souls from. That's what the stamp is. Yes. There's a letter on the pillow. I have something important to tell you. Come to my room when you wake up. 
Nico zombie. I wonder what it could be. Is it a way to save? Because I gotta fix this issue with audio. You sleep well. I've got to talk to you about you know what. You know. Wait, did you just like literally creep into my room and snuck a litter under my pillow? Mm hmm. No, Catherine. That's not terrifying at all. What the frick is Catherine? How would I know a Catherine? Oh, that's my worst nightmare! Oh, she's like gasming at the fact of drawing blood. Oh, that's my worst nightmare. And why was she like having an orgasm at that fact of drawing blood? Is that how much she loves drawing blood? Because that is horrifying. One oh four. Um, okay, I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget that the room Catherine is in that we should be peeping on is one oh four. I've got it. I'll be taking that throughout the entire thing. Okay, neat. Thanks. You're literally my note taker. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> I heard that. Oh frick. That child is collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample. No! -ho -ho! I don't want a blood sample. This music's also horrifying. Guess it won't be that easy to collect the souls after all. No, maybe we should have been whispering. There's some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. Well, we know how peeking works. You have to move slowly because if you move too fast, you make noise. <coughs> and you have to like be able to listen in and try to focus on key things. So I think I understand how peeking works. How do you avoid being seen? The guests who react to sounds of footsteps and doors opening. These sounds will give you away. If you think someone is going to hear you, just stay quiet for a while. Blue flames. See the blue flames that hover around the guests here? That means they're carrying a soul. If you don't see that flame, it means they must have put their soul somewhere else. Okay, so that's important to remember. If the soul is not around them, then it must mean that it's hidden. If you find it, it's yours for the taking. Knocking on doors. Face the door and press the square button to knock. If you knock on the door when there's someone in the room, that person will come out to see what's going on. Got it? Okay. I still don't know how to save the game, though. I want to know how to save the game! <laughs> Why do we have a ring? Oh, we have conditions. Tiredness, headache, nervousness, confusion. Are these effects that we get if, like, the other guest sees us? I guess. Well, this is gonna become an amnesia. <laughs> it's so awesome. Who the frick is this kid? Did this kid drop a banana pill? Ames, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage on the floor! Someone stepped on it and had an accident. An ac oh, great. There could be banana pills randomly on the floor. Where's that rat? James! The one who has to clean up all of your messes. Okay. That was a scene that happened. <laughs> Where's our room at? This is our room. Ah! No, thank you! I just saw Catherine. Okay, so what? Was our room 101? Our room is 101. Alright. Is there any way you can look up how we can save our game? Because I have no idea how to save our game. I think. 
save the game, you need to go and see the fortune teller. Oh, and the conditions. Mm-hmm. Um, tiredness is obviously if you stay awake too much. Headache is if you stay tired for a while. And your mental gauge will decrease. Nervousness, if you've had the headache for a while. And recovery items will only be half as effective. Uh, confusion, you'll get this within 30 minutes of being nervous. And you'll have difficulty moving. And you have to use a sedative to recover. Melancholy happens. When you take someone's happens when someone takes a soul back from you. Oh, so like if you steal a soul, um, and that person that you stole the soul from takes it back from you, you get melancholy, which um, you get depressed and you don't have the energy to run, so you have to use laughing shirts. Get high to feel better yeah. about losing a soul. Yeah, and uh, darkness happens between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. Also, when you go under the uh, ground and it's just you can't see clearly and you have to use eye drops to recover. Okay. So those are, those are the conditions. Okay, all right. Good to know, good to know, good to know. All right, well, I guess let's find his fortune teller. Before we start trying to find Catherine's schedule. Uh, it's directly after Catherine. <laughs> oh. Cath the, the fortune teller's room is directly oh, after is, Catherine. Is this it? I think. Oh, yeah! yeah. Is this game worthy? Yes. There you go. <laughs> yeah! Save that dirty game. Okay, now I'm going to try to fix this weird audio issue that's going on. Which I think I have an idea of what's causing it. Um. Alright, so hopefully what I did fixes the audio issue. Hopefully, we'll see. Find ah! that kid. Ah! Run away from her! Ah, <laughs> oh, it's locked! Okay! Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. You're Zay, the one who's been collecting souls, aren't you? That face makes me want to do terrible things to you. <laughs> no! I think I'll make your job harder by running away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, right by! <laughs> well, that was simple enough. There's Gregory. I guess I don't have to fear her yet, because we haven't taken her soul. Hmm. I don't know what that room is. There's a jacuzzi. Wow. Have some, uh... Store room? Yeah, store room. Can we see what's in the store room? Mm hmm. Was that anime naked chicks on the wall? <laughs> I think so. I didn't want to stay peeping for too long in case Gregory saw me. Judge <laughs> the Judgment Factory. Factory where we dun, produce dun, dun. all your judgment. Wait, what? Mummy Papa and Mummy Dog? See Master, my son. The lounge. That's gated. And the lobby. Alright, well, Zach, you're my guide, so tell me. What are we doing? Where should we go? What time should we go? Um. Okay, first of all, press select. Does anything happen? 
No. There's no map yet. Okay. Um. Wait, this big door is open. Oh, I'm looking at kitchen now? Oh, cool. Okay. Um. Find a banana. Find a banana. Mm -hmm. I found a banana peel. That's what we need. Okay. You change the current equipped key item by pressing R1. For example, let's try switching. Okay, so. Alright. Got banana peel. Um, now return to my room and we'll wait for Catherine. Okay. <laughs> are we gonna- are, are we using this on Catherine? Because Catherine- mm -hmm. What? What? Where? Oh. Bye! <laughs> Well, all right. That was like the, I was. Just, I was just like I was hearing noises, and I was like, "What is that noise?" Okay, so what time are we waiting for Catherine? Um, what exactly do we do? Uh, well, she's just meant to have been there, but I think because she was down in the thing and we came out, she ran away. So, you need to wait until she's down, because then you can throw the peel out and she's going to run over it and trip, and that will give... She'll drop her soul. I hear footsteps. So, wait, where are we supposed to drop the peel? On the floor. <laughs> In front of Catherine. So that she runs over it. And slips. And then, um... But how exactly do we throw it in front of her? She runs the moment she sees us. Which I'm guessing is the point to cause her to slip. Hmm. But where exactly should we throw the pill to cause that chain reaction because the moment she sees us she's gonna book it and that's when we need the banana pill right behind her ass yeah which is why I'm, I'm thinking mm-hmm when until she goes past our room mm -hmm. throw the banana peel down and then just before she gets to the banana peel we jump out because maybe us being there will like alert her and she'll run, which will make her slip. So maybe put the peel in front of. Mm, noise. Cats. Room. There she is. Okay, so you want me to go out now and drop the peel? Yeah. Try. Oh. How do you throw items? Uh, apparently that's how. <laughs> oh wait! Get over here, Catherine. <laughs> you slippery snake. Wait, she went to her room. Oh, put it outside her room then. <laughs> <laughs> Should we peek in to see her weakness or not? Yeah, might as well. No, freaking peek in there. Oh gosh, she's moaning her name. One of these days, I. 
No! I don't want that. She's stabbing the bed, dude. Mm -hmm. It's making me nervous. Is she gonna repeat? No, she just wants to stab us. Alright. We'll drop the pail in front of her door. <laughs> no! <laughs> that, well, that no! was a mistake! <laughs> immediately go across and save yeah right now because I got the soul go and save yeah go and save no sorry I have to go talk to Nico zombie <laughs> good job yes <laughs> I totally had the master play <laughs> that was great oh, my heart's <laughs> beating so fast I legitimately had a panic We were both just like, we need to leave, we need to leave, we need to leave. And he like I, threw the pill. <laughs> in a panic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was so great. And she was like totally following this as well, but she like swipped, <laughs> swipped the fucking pill and just like went straight into the door. And it was just. <laughs> that was an event. Now tell me if you ever saw a let's play of this game where that happened. <laughs> Every let's play is unique in its own way. <laughs> My lord. Oh Jesus, that was good. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I mean I thought she was gonna needle time us because we went into <laughs> I'm not over that. That was some. Uh oh. Yeah, she's pissed. Gone! It's gone! My soul! It's gone! Should have seen that banana put in front of your door. Kid must have taken it. <laughs> no, I'm really angry. Oh no. Horror show. When you steal in the soul from one of the guests and that guest spots you, he or she will start to chase you. If you get caught, you'll be forced to watch a horror show. Oh, the humanity! Please don't have me outside of Nico's room. I'll cry. Can you do about it? Simple. Just run away. Oh, it's so easy for you to say. I had a panic attack and threw a banana peel at random. <laughs> I think we need to, like, stop um, stock up on peels so that you can just panic peel. <laughs> <laughs> I love that me panicking, my first instinct was, throw the banana peel. <laughs> that was legitimate my first instinct when busted like that. Throw banana peel, book it. But hey, you know what? It was so dumb it worked. <laughs> One last thing. Yes. yes. Found here the power of your beliefs is everything. I believe that like the game will leave me in this room and I can spot to see if Catherine's coming or not, so I can run and save my game. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh no. I don't want that back. You can keep it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, so I fixed some of the issues, but the audio is still kind of blue. Yeah. So I don't know what's causing the, the the audio at the end to kind of loop, but it's not that bad. Before, there was like weird stuff on the text. Now it's not there anymore. I fixed that issue. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I saved the worst for last. This voice acting is a bit better that. now, too. It still kind of loops the last word, but... Wait, what? As long as you're in the hotel, your mental gauge would decrease little by little. 
first about your horror show, once the gauge will drop big time. If the gauge drops to zero, you'll be stuck in a hotel forever. To replenish mental health, you need plenty of sleep. Make use of herb type items. Smoke weed every day. Mm -hmm. Refresh your mind by reading. So I guess go to the library. We'll go to the library, get some books, because remember in our room we've got that reading spot. Mm hmm. Um. Also, it sounds like this is going to be like Resident Evil with herbs. Yeah. Whenever you're carrying a soul, it'll resonate with your mind and make it stronger for a while. But oh, cool. It means you have to consider when you're going to hand a soul over to death. Why not right away? So, when you're Apparently, you're more resilient if you've got souls on you. Mind telling me where I find these herbs? <clears throat> By reading a good book, yes, you can actually increase your mental gauge. Frick, we better go to the library. <laughs> Not telling you all this? I'm just worried about you. That's all. Ah, oh, Nico Zombie, I ship us. <laughs> Judgment boys, so yes. <laughs> Wait, judgment boy? I, I I honestly thought judgment room was like a joke of like where they actually just judge you. I didn't think there was an actual guest. Uh, well, um, is, yeah. D I don't know who judgment boy is. I just I, I I'm anxiously wanting to save my game. Do you know my name? Judgment. Oh my god, he sings. Judgment! final judgment on troubled hearts. Heart. You did a good job today. Now, go back to your room and get some rest. Okay, mom. Gosh. Tomorrow is another big day. Oh no, the text is bugging out. Don't do that to me, Tex. I just fixed you. I guess we're going to sleep now. Because <laughs> we just got thrown into our rooms. So I guess we'll save after. Mm. Yeah, get some sleep, but we do not give this all over. Because apparently uh, we are more resilient if we hold on to souls. But wouldn't Catherine be able to take her soul back? Yeah. I don't know, it's up to you. We can... We can wait until we've got uh, Judgment Boy's soul and give Catherine's and Judgment's over, or we can give just Catherine's over. I think to be safe we should just hand over Catherine's. I mean, okay. <clears throat> we could figure out some other plan to keep our mental stability up. Give it up! Throw away all that! We'll just mug the librarian. <laughs> Shank them with paper airplanes yes. that we make from pages of books. <laughs> oh, you only brought me one, huh? I take it? I just don't want to accidentally hey, lose the soul. Look. <clears throat> Here, I stamp your card for you. Your card. Maybe the second night of there, I'll try uh, maybe like later nights we should do it because I'm guessing the guests will be stronger in later nights. And that could be a tactic to use in the later levels, not right now since it's just the first night. <laughs> 